Okay guys, I wanna do a video on the best high horsepower combo for uh, LS trucks, heavy LS trucks, and basically any LS platform you wanna hit a thousand or slightly above, uh, maybe you wanna do 12, 1300 horse. This is the combo that I have found to be a success. You guys remember this vehicle, possibly it's one of my customers that um, we built uh, 6.2. This is a LTZ 6.2 with a 6L80 trans in it, four by four. So we um, we cammed it, head studded it, and did all the stuff that you would do to an LS3 short block uh, stock. And we pushed it up around 800 horse. And you know, running on pump gas, pretty common failure on these LS motors. You know, people say these pistons are good for a thousand horse. They probably are in most cases, but if your tune is even slightly off or you have any detonation, this is a really common problem. Lifting a ring land on the top here. So this is a full full floating Gen 4 piston for a 6.2. Um, anyway, you uh, get you get real lucky if the, if you can catch it when it just starts coming apart like this. A lot of times these pistons will actually crumble and shatter, and then the rod goes through stuff. We were fortunate with this one. We were trying to push it a little bit harder than we should have. So this motor got completely built. Um, let me just give you an idea what's in it. So this is again still looks stock like a 6.2 um looks dirty even though it's just been sitting over the winter or not winter but the summer hasn't been used much um so this has got a forge stock stroke crank this customer of mine decided not to go with uh, um, a stroker crank he wanted to keep stock displacement of the 6.2 it's a 10 over so it is a, i think it's a cali's comp star of uh, you know 3.622 crank it's pretty expensive the actual the four inch cranks are cheap but the forged stock stroke cranks are hard to come by. We've got that in this here, just a set of, um, I think there are some Carrillo rods, some good H-beam Carrillo rods with a set of Weissco's in there. Now, I'm not necessarily particular to Weissco's by any means. I like CP Carrillo pistons. They're bullet series pistons. Um, Weissco's are fine though. This customer wanted Weissco, so we went that route. These are stock LS3 heads, 823 castings with a good valve job, valve job no porting. Trunnion upgrade um, with a pretty uh, good spec cam by uh, LJMS Motorsports. Um, he spec this cam, and then we are running, the, in my opinion, the very best hot side you can run for these uh, these trucks. That's um, Trick Performance. I use them on my race truck, but it's a Trick T6 manifold. Um, gives you room to your plugs and whatnot. We're gonna have to run some different plug wires. Obviously, they touch, but you just gotta get the angled ones. They run their uh, their uh, waste gate right off there. Uh, we're gonna run a screener pipe on this one here. But uh, this is a true divided T6 manifold that goes up to a Borg S485 by forced inductions, also spec'd by LGMS. Um, this is their S45 billet wheel. Uh, same exact turbo I'm running on my drag truck if you've seen that one. Um, customer really liked what I was doing with that truck and the power I was making, so we're doing that here. This is a full AC, full weight. Where's the AC container? It's hidden back there behind the catch can. Full weight vehicle, leather, loaded console. I mean, you can see it's got everything in there. So we've just finished up the, the hot side install, minus the downpipe and the screamer pipe, but we've got our oil lines done. We are using a a dash 12 for our drain. Uh, you can see that uh, line going down there into the oil pan. We changed out to a dash 12 on the pan just for really good draining. We're clocked at nine degrees off center. Um, really hard to get that uh, drain to not touch the housing. And so where we've got it, where it doesn't touch right now, we're at nine degrees off of vertical, which is acceptable. Um, but anyway, target we're looking for a reliable thousand horse wheel all the time on this truck so that's the cool thing here i'll just give you guys a quick uh this is one nasty street truck that is a massive sleeper that we're putting together here so you can see we've got two nozzles of meth going in it as well um this runs about 15 pounds of boost to make the thousand we're looking for but um it's functional at the moment
so no cold side on it yet we have a cold side i'm sorry but it's not adapted we're uh, he's not opting to go with the bigger intercooler so i'm gonna have to adapt the intercooler piping from down here up and into this here which is uh v-banded and then we already have a downpipe made for us it's not installed yet because i'm waiting on a uh, custom dipstick because the dipstick has got to be bent and shaped but anyway that's that truck anyway guys that is uh it doesn't take a lot to build a thousand horse uh six six liter or above based even a five three you can do it with five threes too but uh i i like the displacement of a six liter this is another customer that is um a thousand horse build we're doing right now and i want to show you what we're using on this um so this is actually i'm not gonna lie this is actually my motor i say it's another customer it's mine um it was going to be another customer's but i ended up inheriting the project so it's a 69 c10 that's going to be all swapped and i've got everything here ready to go these here i'll show you some of the parts we're using here and this will be an easy thousand horsepower um, with the right turbo now the turbo i'm going to run on it is not uh probably capable of a thousand horse it's a bmf from on three if you're familiar with their bmf uh it's a 7675 um, billet wheel and they've seen as much as 900 on coyotes i think maybe even close to a thousand but i'm targeting 850 900 we'll see what we can get out of this six liter for cylinder heads i have a brand new set never been used brand new from gm these are lsa's these are just lsa heads as they come not ported none of that not worried about the speed bump in the intake port i've just thrown on some btr 220s i think they have a i'm sorry 220s btr 650 or 660 springs they are they're about 230 bucks um these are brand new ls3 rockers that have um, stock trunnions in them but i have a whole nother set of LSC, ls3 rockers with um btr trunnion upgrade and i'm just going to swap them for those but i've got the springs on them i want and these are very similar to the ls3 casting except they use a rotocast method and they're a stronger alloy. You can see the LSA on it right there. So these are the cylinder head we'll be using to push through some air and they're a stronger casting anyway because they came on the CTSVs. But this is a stock six liter truck block LM, or not LM, uh, LQ4 block out of an O2 Silverado HD 2500, had 290K, no, excuse me, 90K on it. And then We've uh, done a 30 over bore and hone with torque plates. We have Durabond one piece cam bearings I'll put in. Cam bearings I think are junk from, from GM as far as performance goes. I would suggest one piece cam bearings and everything. Other than that, the block of stock. Just spend the money, do a good, have, make sure you have a, comp, a shop that knows what they're doing, doing your bore and hone. Getting the cylinder to wall where you want it. I put the cylinder wall clearance at four and a half thousandths. To give you an idea on more internal parts we're going to be doing on that we have this was recommended by uh, steve morris racing uh if you've seen any of his videos um he used these rods he uses these rods in all his thousand to twelve hundred horsepower builds they are copies of well they're not even a copy they're an exact exactly the same as these scat rods right here they are a 6125 rod that um 6125 rod but they come with arp 2000 bolts in them so i like i can get the scat rod for the same price with the 8740 bolt but these are a scat rod they're identical um and steve morse has been using them in his uh, ls3 builds that generate you know a thousand horsepower all day long so this this set's only about 470 dollars for the set of eight on these rods here so i'm gonna try them and i think they'll be i don't think they're any different than the scat rod to be honest so we're going with that we've got our king mains and rods here we'll be checking these out see if we get proper clearance i'm looking for about two and a half thou uh clearance main rods some in that range um we've got stock crank we're running uh it's down here hiding in a bag just a balanced crank uh, yeah it's hiding back there so that's a stock the stock crank that came with this motor we just balanced it to these rods and pistons for the pistons we are using again i told you i really like 
these pistons. And these are their bullet series from CP Carrillo. And these are a 4030. This is the part number if anyone's interested. It's a BLS 1011-30. And you can see right there, that's a 4030 bore uh, on a stock stroke with a 6125 rod, 10.4 to one on a, uh, and that's on a tighter combustion chamber. That's on a 68cc combustion chamber. Running a 71cc LS, um, they're actually 71 to 72 LSA head. There comes right out 10 to one. I'm up here at elevation. I'm at 5,000 feet and anything less than 10 to one is a dog. So 10 to one with alcohol is my combo. Use lots of uh, methanol or just straight E85. So these are their, these are actually considered a budget piston. Um, you can definitely get more expensive ones, but these have a lot of really neat features that you won't find for the price and other things. Um, my machine shop has numbered each one of these for the bore and that any good machine shop will, will spec it that way. So this one goes in cylinder five. So this is a, uh, this is a 2018 or 2016, 2618. I'm getting it all wrong. 2618 forge casting. I think it's the strongest forging you're going to get. They are not coated like, um, some of the Weiss codes are, that's just a Sharpie on it there. No, no, uh, no coating on it. But what I like about the stock stroke is this doesn't impede in your bottom ring land, your um, oil, oil ring at all, where my 408 does. They get up into that and you have to use a rail support system. Anyway, really good, strong piston for the money. Um, I think this piston set you can pick up for about 690, uh, right under 700 bucks for this set of pistons. Um, and these I'm using with the stock pins. I've had no problem before with, you know, a thousand horsepower on stock pins. Some people will tell you go with a, an upgraded pin and there's no, no harm in that. Um, in fact, I, uh, I made the mistake of ordering the wrong pins on my race truck and those are stock pins and my truck that's making well north of a thousand horse and it's heavy and I haven't had a failure. Now I know you don't know you have a failure until it just fails. But anyway, um, stock pins on this. I think the stock pins are fine for eight to 800 to a thousand. Uh, you guys decide if you want to spend extra money for tool steel, a little bit thicker wall uh, pins, a little heavier or rotating assembly. But anyway, that's going to make a really potent six liter on boost. Um, and I'm going to use the same, I haven't decided I have two different options for a hot side. I can run, I can run the, uh, let me see if I have it over here. I actually don't, it's elsewhere. But I've got uh, several on three manifolds. I don't like their manifold just because of the accessibility of the plugs and plug wires and that kind of thing. I have another trick manifold just like that one out there. It's a T6. So if I run the manifold that's on that truck or my race truck on this, which I have, I'm going to have to run an adapter to go to a T4, which is what that uh, one there is. And that's pretty much a copy of a Precision 7635. In my opinion, that's pretty much a dead on copy of a 7675. Anyway, follow me guys on this build if you're interested. It's going in 69C10. 4L80 is gutted right there. I'll be changing this from a four-wheel drive to a two-wheel drive for that. Um, I've got it all stripped down. And the running gear stacked up right here. Pretty good core, nothing that I need to really replace in the hard parts. Just bushings, of course, on every 4L80, bushings, clutches. Set up my direct drum the way I want to. Um, it's called a dual feed the direct clutch anyway. There's a few other things we'll do in there, but this is gonna be the combo that'll be going into um, that C10. Not really a point of making much more power for that C10 being it's a two-wheel drive because it's going to take a lot to get that to hook. And it's not going to be a race truck. It's going to be a daily truck. And so 800 horsepower in a daily truck that's rear-wheel drive is going to spin all over the place. So anyway, guys, thanks for the time. Enjoy.